Tech Talk Alert. After our latest digital life hack, you're going to hear one of my weekend show's best calls. You don't want to miss it. You get a phone call. It's your child crying, terrified, saying that they've been kidnapped. Your heart races. They say they need money now. What do you do next? I'm Kim Commando for Incogni. Stop robocalls, spam text, junk email, and remove yourself from the internet. Get 60% off today at privacykim.com. In a moment like this, panic is natural. But here's the reality. That voice might not be your child's at all. You see, scammers are using AI to clone voices, and they're getting frighteningly good at it. They pull from videos kids post on TikTok, Snap, and YouTube. Then for just a few bucks, they clone the kid's voice, and they use that to make you believe your worst nightmare is, in fact, a reality. If this happens to you, here's what you need to do. Stall the caller while you try to contact your child directly. If there's no answer, ask a question only your child would know the answer to, and at the same time, text or find another way to call 911. I know your instinct is to send the money right away, but don't fall for it. Sign up for my free newsletter right now at getkim.com. Hey, have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything, AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at GetTheCurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's GetTheCurrent.com. Sign up now. GetTheCurrent.com. As promised, I'm now bringing you a standout call from my weekend show. Uh, Gary in Roswell, New Mexico. Hi there, Gary. Hi, Kim. Uh, It's a great pleasure to speak with you Uh, I so enjoy your newsletters and your radio show. Uh, even someone as uh, unknowledgeable as me learns uh, new things all the time. Uh, and what I'm calling about is we have an old cemetery here that was uh, uh, the owners weren't taking care of it. And it was dilapidated, and it's almost all uh, flat headstones. The local American Legion post took over maintenance of it on there, and they're doing it just by donations. And finally, the owner died and uh, left the ownership to the Legion. and there's about 6,000 residents there, and it's horrible. I've been out with my wife, uh, Daughters of American Revolution, mm-hmm. and uh, trying to plant American flags and, and on Veterans Day. And it's horrible. Even for family members, they can't find the grave site. Is there a way to uh, GPS these grave sites to make a map and a catalog? Yeah, there is a way. It's a big project, as you might imagine. Um, there, there's so there's six thousand grave sites. Is that what you said? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Okay, it's a big project. Uh, but we can do this for daughters of the American Revolution. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay, that's great. And, um, you know, there are there's. There's a news story that I read. Uh, I'm going to pass along to you about how they're using GPS field data in order to create um, the the maps and also to memorialize military veterans. Okay, so I want yes. you to re- I want you to read this story because from there it's going to give you a basis of what this project might entail. Okay, and they talk about the tools that they use too. But like you mentioned, I mean, you're going to have to, you're going to need a whole team of volunteers, right? People who are interested in in history and genealogy and technology. It could be even the local Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Scouting organizations could help, right? Community groups. Uh, Mm -hmm. There are mapping software programs like Billion Graves and SemMapper and Chronicle, which are designed to basically do a whole GPS map. Of every grave site that's in there. Uh, oh, cool. And so you can do a survey of the cemetery and then find any existing records or markers. And then, of course, you're going to have to teach the volunteers how to use the GPS mapping software and take photographs of each grave marker and headstone and things like that. Uh, but it's a, it's a beautiful project. It's a great project. 
it's just it's a it's a major project but you know this right yes <laughs> and are you and you're up for it i can tell gary i know you're up for it um so so let me do this i'm going to give you uh we're going to send you a link to the story that i read about how they did this in the past and they actually used uh local veterans organizations as well in this community to do that and then i'm going to ask amber to uh just tell you you know, basically, there were a couple of programs, like I mentioned, real fast, like Chronicle and Sem Mapper and Billion Graves. And um, so, what I'd like to do is just have you start thinking about this, Gary. Okay, and look at the resources that I've sent you, and then let's talk about what it's going to take to get to the next level, the next stage. Okay. okay. Uh, so maybe we could schedule a time for us to talk. Say, you know, in a couple of weeks after you have a, a chance to absorb everything that I'm sending. And then we'll talk about what it takes to get to stage two, because now we're just collecting the information. We're just doing some basic homework. So what does it take to get to where we actually have this GPS? And what are the project milestones that we need to get to? And if you're listening right now and you're like, whoa, Kim Commando, I have done exactly what you're talking about. I want to hear from you. I want you to drop me a note. Now, the best way for you to drop me a note and then you and I can chat on the air, off the air, whatever, because uh, we want to make sure that Gary has every, all the tools that he needs there in Roswell, New Mexico, is to head over to commando.com. Hit that link. You've heard me talk about this on the show. Commando.com and hit the link that says email Kim. I read every single note that you guys and gals send me right there. Again, that's commando.com and hit that link that says email Kim. Hey, a huge thank you for streaming with me. Now, if you're puzzled about something techie, I'm your gal. Just find the email Kim link over at commando.com and let those questions fly away. Now, every email gets my eyeballs, I promise. And keep your digital life in the know. Be sure you sign up for my free newsletter over at getkim.com.